So, I've moved. Where's my cat? Hmm. Well. Anyway, I moved to a new apartment with no drugs, and I'm going through detox, drug detox, amphetamine detox. It's really bad this time. The other times I've moved from drugs, I moved out within a couple days and just went through a few days of detox, but this has been like a week, and I'm probably only halfway through. Uh, it's giving me chest pain. Um, I've been stressed because the landlord has been really difficult. They've been, they haven't just been like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll give you an accommodation. They've been trying to like work it out so that I somehow don't get an accommodation and instead have to agree to some special offer of theirs that involves all these kind of weird claims. I don't know. So it's been really stressful. And that's when the chest pain started. I think, I mean, I used to have chest pain just from the amphetamine exposure too. So I'm trying to take it easy. I can't take much stress right now. Um, again, I'm a little bit puffier from two weeks of amphetamines. Pretty bad. It was not too bad for the first two weeks, and then like it got really bad. Maybe two, two weeks. I don't know. Whatever. Um, two weeks before I moved. And what else? Um, yeah, just tired and not quite feeling like myself and my chest hurts a lot and I can't stand up very well. I have to sit down a lot. I have, the first couple of days of the detox I was feeling like I was going to black out and feeling very lightheaded. But anyway, I'm in a new apartment and it's great. It's got a much bigger kitchen. I can cook better. The cat can spread out more in the kitchen, like be over there while I'm cooking over here. And I might actually be able to live here for a while. Because there's nobody really under me, there's just garages under me. So nobody's gonna be smoking, hopefully, down there, smoking any drugs. And um, I, they've done the pesticide accommodation, and then the only other thing that's ever made me move is mold. And I don't think that that would happen here again because nobody's right below me. And there's a lot of fresh air intake in these apartments because they're lead buildings and the exhaust vent is on all the time and stuff. So, and the people that live next to me have a baby, so that's a good sign. So maybe I'll just live here for a while. I have a 15 month lease. Hopefully I'll make it all the way through that, which I need to do in order to get the two months free. That was the promotion. And I like it here. Could be a better location, but like it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's right by the river, it's by the trails, etc. So, um, you know, once this gets settled down, I think I really need to focus on work. I was doing a lot of activism and different relationship stuff and social stuff over the summer and I'm really I really just want to have a peaceful safe life you know I have someone now someone special in my life we're doing relationship anarchy so we're not technically dating but if it weren't for that we probably would I guess it's like we've both been in long-term relationships and it's just as sad to be close to somebody and then have to consider them your ex or whatever so we're just like well why don't we just not date so then we won't be exes we'll just be like it's cool, relationship anarchy is cool because you can just like, kind of like, it's like a buffet, you can pick what parts of a relationship you want, and so like calling yourselves a relationship is one thing that you can choose yes or no on. But then other, and we, we sleep together every night, we just decided we like doing that because I was doing that when I was going through the drugs, so that's part of our friendship now is that we do that in a little bit, and it's so much cuddling, it's wonderful. and. Um, Anyway, yeah, having that makes me feel like I can, like, think about work more, because I, I really need a lot of cuddling, like, I, I do so much better with cuddling and physical contact, and it's really important for me, and now I have a cat and this person, so, like, I'm always with either of them, I'm either at home with my cat, who's sort of like a partner to me, or I'm in, a, in this guy's house sleeping, or else I'm out doing something with people, so, it just feels good, feels like a lot of connection, and... I feel like I'm ready to start focusing on making my career better and more networking and just improving at my job and different stuff. I'm trying to do this Mark Manson course about relationships because I, I want to do things better this time around. And, uh, I, the biggest hardship for me in relationships has been health issues where I just get floored by stuff or I get very irritable from stuff. And, it's hard for people to handle that, and um, so I'm really trying to stay on top of that because I would like to have better relationships, and I would like to have stability and just have people in my life for a long amount of time and stuff. And, um, 
I'm trying to figure out what that's gonna look like because I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get married. I think it's, maybe it's a little difficult to get married when you're in a situation with health problems because you're like, well, you don't want to like. It does affect who you can date, you know, and other people's problems affect the fact that I can date them, like, you know, like people that, like, there's people I might not date except that I have issues, and they they, they realize that. And the same goes for me, that they might not date me unless they have certain issues. And and so it's like, it's hard to think about getting locked in to that when you don't know, or just locked in with one person. I don't think I even want to be locked in with any one person, but I would like to have kind of like long-term people that look out for each other and stuff. So I'm trying to, I don't know, maybe I'll settle and get married someday, but like, it's not a good time right now. So I'm trying to say, well, well, what am I going to do instead? Because it's just, serial monogamy is just boring, where you're just with someone and you're like, well, it's going to end at some point. And I'm going to have to think bad thoughts about them and ignore them. You know, it's just, I don't want to do that anymore. So I think I'm doing relationship anarchy instead. Um, so that's all.